next example, we have x plus 6 over x squared plus 5x minus 6. Now, let us factor our numerator, x plus 6. It is binomial. You either factor it using CMF, DTS, or SDTC. CMF. Kung CMF ito, try to get the GCF of the term. So, ang GCF ng x at 6 ay 1 lang. Ibig sabihin kapag 1 lang, it is prime, it is not factorable using CMF. How about DTS? Difference. Dapat subtraction, hindi siya subtraction. So, wrong. SDTC, so kahit yan ay plus or minus, okay lang. Pero dapat perfect cube ang first at second term natin. Perfect cube, hindi sila parehong perfect cube. Ibig sabihin, it is not also factorable using SDTC. Wala. Uh, all you have to do is to copy our numerator. Dahil hindi na natin siya mapafactor. Next, let us try to factor the denominator. Trinomia siya. So, you either factor it using PST or GT. Perfect square trinomial kapag ang first at third term ay perfect square. May square root si first term? Yes. May square root si third term? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, it is not perfect square trinomial. How, so, all we have to do is to um, proceed with the general trinomial. So, two sets of binomials tayo. Get the factors of our first term. x squared i x times x. Now, list down all the factors of negative 6. Ano-ano ang factors ni negative 6? So, we have um, 1 times negative 6. Negative 1 times 6. 2 times negative 3 and negative 2 times 3. Now, after getting all the paired factors of the third term, we can now add. So, adding them, pa, um, magkaiba sila ng sign, magsusubtract ka. So, again, proceed tayo with addition. So, ang rule ng addition, pag different sign, you will subtract. So, 6 minus 1 ay negative 5. Bakit negative? Kasi kinuha natin ang sign ng mas malaking number. Next, 6 minus 1 again, it will now be positive 5. Here, we have negative 1 and we have positive 1. So, kung ano magiging sign na tutulad sa second term ng ating trinomial, positive 5, the paired factors will be our factor. So, our answer will be negative 1 and positive 6. Oh, ano ulit ang napansin natin? We have common factors. So, let us divide x plus 6. The answer will be 1. So, ang natira sa numerator ay 1. At ang natira sa denominator ay x minus 1 times 1. x minus 1 pa rin yan. You don't have to write the parenthesis kasi wala ka namang multiply na other um, polynomial. So, this will be our simplified answer. Oh, let us simplify our last example. Now, if you will see our numerator, it is trinomial. It is only factorable either perfect square trinomial or general trinomial. Let us check if it is a perfect square trinomial. If the first term and the third term are perfect square. So, on our example here, they don't have exact uh, square root. It means it is not factorable using perfect square trinomial. Let us now proceed with general trinomial. Now, in factoring general trinomial, we have two sets of binomial. Let us have our scratch here. So, how to factor general trinomial? First, it should be arranged from uh, in standard form so, um, ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, it is already arranged in standard form. We can now factor. Factor our first term. What are the factors of 3? We only have um, one pair of factors. 3x and x. 3x times x is 3x squared. Next, list down all the factors of negative 6. What are the paired factors of negative 6? So, we have 1 and negative 6 negative 1 and 6 or 6 and negative 1 negative 6 and 1 2 and negative 3 negative 2 and 3 or 3 and negative 2 
negative 3 and 2. So, those are the pair of factors for negative 6. So, let us try positive 1 and negative 6. Positive 1 and negative 6. Multiply the inner terms. We have 1 times x. The answer is x. Multiply the outer terms. 3x times negative 6. The answer is negative 18. X. Add the two um, products. So, the rule in our addition, unlike sign, we will subtract. 18 minus 1, the answer is 17. X. Get the sign of the bigger number. It is negative 17x. Now, look at the sum. If it is um, the same with the middle term of your given, that is the correct factor. But here, they are different. It means 1 and 6 are wrong. Even though you use negative on 1 and positive on 6, it will just change sign. Oh, let us try. Negative 1 times x, negative x. 3x times 6, 18x. Subtracting um, them, the answer is 17x. But let us try to swap the 2. We will write 1 and here is 6. Negative 6 times x, negative 6x. 3x times 1 is 3x. Subtract, the answer is negative 3x. Okay? So, it means even though you use positive on 6 and negative on 1, it will just turn out positive 3x. So, it means these pair of factors are wrong. Let us try 2 and 3. So, let us try negative 2 here and positive 3 on the next term. So, negative 2 times x, the answer is negative 2x. 3x times 3, the answer is 9x. Adding them, the answer will be 7x. Now, if you will just notice on the middle term, it should be negative 7x. But we came up with the positive 7x. So, all you have to do is to swap the sign. So, instead of negative 2, use positive 2. And instead of positive 3, use negative 3. Okay? So, it will become um, positive 2x, negative 9y, and this will become negative 7x. So, these are the correct factors of our numerator. Let us now copy it on our answer. 3x plus 2, and then x minus 3. Let us now factor our um, denominator. So, let's check which of the two can factor our denominator. So, first, perfect square trinomial. Again, if the first and third term are perfect squares. So, here, um, 7 and 6 are not perfect square. You cannot use perfect square trinomial. Now, you will now proceed on general trinomial. Again, how to factor? You will write... Um, two sets of binomials. Now, let us have our scratch again. First, list down all the factors of our first term. But since we only have a pair of factors of 7, you can now write it down on our answer. So, 7x times x is 7x squared. Next, list down all the factors of negative 6. So, we only have 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. But then again, they should be unlike signs because our third term are negative. Okay? So, let us try positive on our first binomial and negative on our second binomial. So, let's try again 1 and 6. Multiplying 1 times x, the answer is x. 7x times negative 6, the answer is negative 42x. Adding unlike sign, you will subtract. The answer will be negative 41x. So, they are not the same with the middle term of our denominator. So, let's swap the 2. Write 6 and then 1. Multiplying 6 times x, the answer is 6x. 7x times negative 1 is negative 7x. Adding them, the answer will become negative x. So, our pair of 1 and 6 are wrong for this trinomial. 
Let us use 2 and 3. and 3, positive 2 and negative 3. 2 times x, 2x. 7x times negative 3 is negative 21x. Subtract them. The answer is negative 19x. And there you go. We came up with the same middle term. It means these are the correct factors of our denominator. So we have 7x plus 2 and x minus 3. So, we can again um, divide our same factors. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1. What is left is 3x plus 2 all over 7x plus 2. And that is your simplified answer. Music